In this episode, we're going to talk about competent person schemes. Now, it's a necessary thing as an electrician if you want to issue certificates and building regulations and notifications to be part of a competent person scheme. But there are other benefits as well. We talked a lot about professionalism and really it does make you look more professional if you have that stamp of approval from a competent person scheme too. So the question is, which competent person scheme should you choose? Because there are various ones out there. The two biggest ones being NIC, EIC and NAPIT or NAPIT or whatever people call it. Now, personally, I've always gone with the NIC, EIC and that's maybe a little bit traditionalist because my dad was always with NIC, EIC. But I also think that they have probably the best reputation out there in terms of their branding and everything. Now, to be brutally honest, I think some of these competent person schemes are a little bit of a waste of time now just because they don't really give you that much for the money other than a basically a stamp that says you're approved. They do come out and check your work once a year. But the biggest thing, the biggest reason to have one now for me is just the building regulations approval. Because if you don't have a membership to a competent person scheme, you will still have to get building regulations approval for your jobs where building regulations part P approval is needed, but it's gonna cost you a heck of a lot more to do that directly through the council than the £1.50 that you'll pay for a building regs notification certificate from the NIC EIC. So from that side of things alone, it's worth going with it. And there are other added benefits and support that you get like the NIC gives you an insurance backed warranty on every job. So that's kind of a good thing for the customers. And there are various other perks, but do your research, figure out what which one is best for you. NAPIT does have a good reputation as well, but I think maybe their brand isn't viewed quite as prestigious as NIC, EIC still, but they both do pretty much the same thing. NIC is more expensive than NAPIT, I think, but um, there's not a huge amount in it. So that's just a brief discussion of competent person schemes. Let's get on to the next lesson.